What's going on everybody? So Christmas in July, that has to be one of the best feelings because as an adult, you can gift that feeling to yourself whenever, responsibly. And I did just that in July with some deals, some pickups that certainly stayed on my mind, and some were just necessary <laughs> for practical use, at least for my everyday life. So first let's start off with my Fear of God hats arriving fastest shipping time I've ever seen from fearofgod.com. I don't know what's changed, but please keep it up. Normally it took like forever. I thought they were making the item as I actually purchased it. Not the t not the case this time. So I picked up uh, part of the brand new MLB collection with New Era that Fear of God did. Jerry announced it. We didn't have a lot of notice and the hats went fast. Like that Mariner's hat went so, 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 so fast. However, for me, I had one focus in mind. Cincinnati Reds. I am not a Reds fan. You know this if you know my channel. I am a struggling Yankees fan right now. However, for these hats, I wanted red. I don't have an all red hat. I have tons of sneakers that are red and it makes sense for me to have something to coordinate really well with them as long as I'm not in California. So I finally uh, checked that off the list. Now, the one I'm wearing right now, I'm able to wear that because it's a seven and a half. And with my twist in the summer, listen, I need, need a bigger hat. Once fall hits and my hair is straight, my little head, like I have like a kid size head. And uh, yeah, that, that means I needed to go ahead and pick up a seven. But I'm really glad that I didn't waste any time, acted fast, got in, checked out, and I have both of my hats here. So I'm just excited to be able to rock this on a regular basis. Um, I think, I think red, I think red looks good on me. I will say this because, you know, a lot of my family, well, pretty much all of my family is from the South. I grew up and my nickname was just Red because you guys can figure it out. Red bone, yellow bone. Yeah, I have a reddish undertone. So therefore my nickname was Red growing up by my grandma. And anytime I was in the South to visit family, they were like, hey, what's up Red? And I just accepted that. That was also the nickname I think for one of my cousins who I look exactly like also. Uh, but the hat came in. If you guys were able to score uh, any of the hats, the ones you really wanted, big ups to you. Really proud of that for you because listen, I know that it's not always easy to get the things that we want and that is just basic consumerism and them creating the artificial hype we get it like we, we we've talked about this before on the channel so if you were able to get what you wanted awesome the next thing for me and it's not the most important thing we will get stay to the end we will get to the most important pickup i have for this month it's not any of these things but one i'm very happy to have i know i'm sally come late to the party Beats by Dre headphones because my AirPods, I love them, okay? I really do. Uh, if we're excluding like the gel tips, like those renditions or iterations of them, they fit in my ears perfectly. They're the only wireless buds that fit in my ears really, really well. Otherwise, I can forget it. They just, they don't fit, they slip out. Remember, I had to return those Beats by Dre buds because they just kept slipping out. They were terrible. However, my AirPods, like, like one, it's always one of them that just seems to keep going in or out when I'm working out. That's not what I need, especially it's not what I need when I'm on a plane or I'm in an airport. I don't want to deal with that. So browsing around online, I think I just happened to hop on. It might've just been Best Buy for like no reason at all. Sometimes late night scrolling can benefit you. They had the Beats by Dre Solo 3 on sale for $119. It's typically $199. And then I also had cash back on my credit card, so I only paid I think, like $110 out of pocket. That's a deal because it's used every single day. And I do mean every single day. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and take a look at... I just want to do the math real quick, right? I'm using, I'm going to use these headphones 365 days out of the year. I'm paying 30 cents a day. I'm paying 30 cents a day for value to the experience of working out or flying. So have those. The sale unfortunately ended, but I, I think if you go on Amazon right now, I think they may or may not have them on sale. So if I can find that, I'll link that below. I don't think it's 119. It's like 133 maybe depending on the colors. But yeah, I picked up new headphones. I'm so, so excited. I've used them for two days now when I'm filming this and excited. Love them. I debated between black and red, but a friend said just go ahead and get black. Like I understand red is captivating, but like maybe not. And he was right because I actually don't want to stand out. Like people will steal the stupidest things these days. Like they will literally steal things that are just a hundred dollars and I don't have time for that. So have the Beats by Dre headphones. Great pickup for me. It's a value pickup. So when you think about things you want to spend your money on, at least for me at this age, what value is it adding every single day? And nine times out of 10, the item that will add more value every single day without fail, I'll probably prioritize that. Like I would love, I need to get another backdrop, like a newer one. I need a wider one. I just haven't done that 
Yeah, because you know what? There's I don't necessarily film every single day and certainly not in front of my backdrop. I work out though every single day. I need those headphones. So headphones were an amazing pickup. The van, so I'll have different videos up for this. More importantly, just to show you guys like what drove me to just really sold me on this pair. But I have my six and a half M. They look great. They look amazing. They fit great. They fit so much better than the size six. My true six didn't work. They fit so much better. So I can't wait to get those videos out for you because I'm going to do two separate ones you may not care about like just the, the the one video I have about pants and these and what drove me to get them but you may also care about the other video just like some simple looks to throw on with this wider Vans pair so stay tuned for that but the most important pickup hands down this entire month most important pickup for July for me like clockwork low cost index funds <laughs> like and this is never financial advice but we just have to get to the point where we are consistently investing in ourselves as much as we are spending towards these companies and corporations on a consistent basis, right? I just gave money to Beats. I just gave money to Best Buy. I gave money to Jerry. Bless his heart. I adore him as a uh, man of God, as a designer, as what to me is a great example of how you can carry yourself and your purpose and stay true to yourself. Absolutely love that. But Jerry's not paying me or putting money in my pocket. However, me choosing to invest in low cost index funds or even brands that I am consistently giving money to, it just makes sense. Now, even though, you know, Beats by Dre, yeah, so to Apple. So I guess me investing, if I choose to invest in Apple or an index fund, doesn't matter. It's still there. So I may be spending money today. Future me will earn money. And that's something I hope you always take away from this channel. Now, does that create an opportunity cost? Absolutely. The money, the additional money that I'm putting into the market just to be able to do this example and this I guess testament to continue to be consistent with investing in future you. Could that money be spent elsewhere? Yes, the 250 or 300 that I may show you guys that I spend here on the channel, that could certainly go towards shoes, it could go towards uh, a trip, it could, it could, yeah, it could literally be like half of a plane ticket to go somewhere, but instead I'm staying diligent, I'm making that promise to myself to continue to think ahead, not think about just right now, but think about in the future. And the more conditioned I am to not even thinking of that money as mine right now, like that is future me money, that's not me money right now, it's good. And that doesn't mean that I still can't do things I wanna do for myself, right? The hats, the shoes, the headphones, all of them are gonna add value or just, you know, just some form of enjoyment to myself. So were there any valuable pickups that you had this month that, you know what, they just really nailed it for you just in terms of your lifestyle? Like, listen, when I bought my double basket air fryer, oh my goodness, the value it's added to my life. It's, it's really, I mean, I know the price I paid for it, but it feels priceless <laughs> just of what I can get out of it. And hopefully you guys stick around for those additional videos for the Vans New School because it was something, it was one key element that really sold me on that. Hopefully you are just enjoying the week. I know we're in the dog days of summer. It's hot. Kids are probably getting on your nerve because they're at home. They're eating up all your food. Thoughts and prayers to you on that. But again, I really appreciate any time you spend here on the channel. As always, Act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.